Backend events are server-side triggers included with many Velo modules that allow you to add additional logic when certain conditions are met. In this tutorial, you will learn about backend events and write your very first backend event handler. When your website visitors complete certain actions on your site, you may want to respond to these events. Backend events are a powerful way to add this custom logic to your site. There are two ways to approach backend event triggers on your Wix Studio site. In this video, we will focus on code, but it is important to be aware of the no code event triggers in your dashboard so you can make the best decision for your business. To find your no code event options, navigate to your dashboard and click on automations. Click on new automation and you can scroll through everything available here. So how do I know which to choose automations or code? Well, for automations, you might choose these if the out of the box flow works for you and there's an event available in automations. This can save you time. You also might be handing this project off to a non-developer who's going to maintain these automations after you set them up. When considering code, you might choose this path because you want full control over the event and have custom business requirements. You might simply prefer your backend logic to be handled in code, or perhaps what you needed wasn't available in the no-code automations. If you think you will reuse this event across sites, it may be easier to do these as code snippets as well. You also might already be using events.js or writing other backend code, and you want to keep all your common work in one place to decrease complexity and make it easier to problem solve. Ultimately, this will come down to a mixture of personal preferences and business requirements. For our use case, we want to use an automation that isn't found here for sending out a satisfaction survey email after an order has been refunded. To do this, let's first set up a triggered email. In your dashboard, navigate to Developer Tools, Triggered Emails. Click Get Started. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to leave the email close to the defaults, but there's a link in the description to learn more about triggered emails. Once you are happy with the template, you will click Save and Continue. Then fill out the sender's name and set a reply to email. You will need to verify your email. And now you are ready to go. You will see an email ID and code snippet here, you can copy these now as we will use them later. If you do lose them though, you can always go back to the dashboard to get these values. In your editor, if you don't already have Wix stores in, installed, you will want to do so. Now let's complete a purchase either via your UI or you can also add an order manually via the dashboard if you prefer. I am using a fake email generator here to mock a customer. There are many available online. And now that we have our first order, let's write the code. We will be using on order payment status updated and listening for the value to be fully refunded. In your editor with dev mode on, click on the curly braces and then click backend and public, then handle backend events. This will generate a new events.js file for you. This file name is reserved and you should not change it. I am going to paste the example code from the documentation here as a starting place. Notice the function starts with the name of the module, Wix Ecom, and then the name of the event that we are calling. All backend events are structured like this and receive a parameter of the event data. You can get rid of some of this boilerplate, but we do want to keep the payment status from the event set to a const. We also need to know who the contact is so we can email them. Now, if you look through the object that's provided in the documentation, this will help you understand all of the possible data returned in this event. In our case, we want this contact ID, which is under buyer info. So set a const to event data order buyer info contact ID. Then import triggered emails from Wix CRM backend. This functionality is also available on the front end, but the import will be a little different. In an if statement, we're going to check if that payment status is returning a value of fully refunded. If we've refunded this customer, then we want to send a follow-up email to ask about their experience with us. 
In the body of the function, you can paste the code snippet provided to you from when you set up your triggered email. It will have the ID of that email, and then you will set the second parameter to buyer, which is the contact ID needed to send this email to a contact. To trigger the event, we are going to update the status of the order manually. This is not required. You can build out a way to return and refund via code. When we set this order to refunded, the event is triggered, and our logs here show that the code was hit. Finally, when we head back over to our mock email provider, we can see that they have received our survey. And that's it. Backend events are a powerful ways to add custom logic to your flow. Check the documentation for all the available options.